Hi, my name is Archish Rai Kapil and I have been in the field of data science for more than 3 years now. Uh, I started my journey against the popular opinion not from a quantitative field. I actually did my 11th and 12th grade in uh, commerce and then I did my bachelor's from the University of Delhi in BA History Honours. And after that I just decided I wanted to change my field and the field that I chose was data science. And initially I started off with from the very basics. I went out and I wanted to look for a course. I came across this institute known as Analytics Labs and that's where I started my journey. Initially I started off with the very basics. I started off with very proper and simple software such as Excel. Then I proceeded to SQL and finally I did SAS and I did a couple of certification or my SAS certification and after that I landed up a job. However, I didn't stop learning there and then I did a couple of certifications in R and Python and this is where I, I would say things got serious and uh, I kept on doing this and so much so that eventually I ended up making my own blog. I even did a couple of research papers and finally I even wrote a book on data science. So that was my progression and when people ask me that is this particular field for people from specific academic background and I just say look at me, I am the prime example. I had no quantitative background or anything related to it. However, the only thing I had was persistence. I was persistent and I kept on doing things. So as you know, data science is an amalgamation of multiple fields. So I had to learn statistics, I had to learn mathematics, I had to learn programming when things got serious as I said and I was learning R and Python. However, I kept on learning, I kept on applying and I kept on providing knowledge to other people who were just starting off with their journey. Right now, after doing a brief stint of 2.5 years in the airline industry, I currently work as a data scientist at the place where I started off in analytics labs. Here I do my normal projects for different clients and also I act as a trainer for you know making people learn data science in R as well as Python. So I mean if anybody thinks that you know where should I start or if this journey is for me or not my only advice to you would be do not think about where you are where you are and you know where you want to start from the only thing you should concentrate is where you want to reach and more or less this is my story and this is how i became a data scientist any domain evolves over a period of time and that is the same case with data science when i started off with data science my understanding of data science was very primitive and very simple basic understanding was that you have tables and you have a normal data and you simply find certain things such as finding the mean, finding other simple arithmetic things. However, when I progressed in data science and I started to realize that it was much more than it seemed. Uh, we have a lot of statistics and mathematics going on which allow us not only to just uh, mine data and understand just very casual patterns in the data but we actually create products out of it. These products are then used in our laptops, in our Android, in our any, any product or any system that we come across. Now eventually when I learned all of this and I finally got the chance to implement all of this then I had a very different understanding of all of this. Uh, I started my career in the airline industry and what I realized was whatever I was implementing in the data, what kind of feedback it got. So for instance, I got a data and I came up with some insight. On the basis of that insight, a new policy was formed, a new product was created and if my insight was wrong, the product was wrong and the feedback that people will give us will also be wrong, right? So this is the thing that which is much more deep than what we initially think it to be. And right now, what it seems that data science is growing much more than it, than it was. Data science is now expanding into areas that, that we never thought it would. For instance, right now, data science is getting into marketing. I mean, around 
let's say 10 years back nobody thought that data science and marketing will become so indispensable however this is the case right now so right now data science is getting into all the fields that are possible and i guess the future of data science is going to be once it reaches all the various fields it's going to become indispensable part of each and every of this field and we are going to see data science not uh, being just your regular or any other thing but it will become a part of your mainstream a lot more education institutes will start it taking it seriously and i think this is this is the main field to look for in the future thank you